Redbubble has been around since 2006, which may seem like a long time if you've only just heard of the site or whether you remember it from the early days. But regardless, for most people looking to make money online, you've probably heard of Redbubble at some point. Whether that be through a Google search where you've come across some sort of blog or article, or perhaps even watched a YouTube video, and I mean, maybe even one of my own. And especially in my Redbubble challenge videos, I always get asked the question as to whether Redbubble is actually worth trying. And I even get some comments that would just outright tell me that Redbubble is a waste of time. So in this video, I just wanna go over my honest opinion on Redbubble and just basically tell you guys whether it is actually worth trying and it's still a valid way of making money online today. But before we dive into the deep topics of the site itself and start talking about the money that you could make or should at least expect to make, let me just ask you this one question. So as of right now, can you still go onto the Redbubble site, sign up and start uploading your designs within say 10 to 20 minutes and potentially allow yourself to start earning money online within a few days or a few months? Well, the answer is yes. Now, the reason I wanted to mention this is because there are a few other websites that operate exactly like Redbubble, where you can go ahead and upload your designs or even some photos, and you can begin earning royalties whenever a product is sold using your work. But in recent years, a lot of those websites have now actually moved to an acceptance program, where you must be approved and you have to show a level of quality in your work just to be considered to have your work go up on the site. So for creators already on the site, this was great news because they now have far less competition to deal with every day. But for anyone on the outside, it is very unlikely now that you will ever get into the program or onto the site. And this is where it brings me back to Redbubble, because as it stands right now, you still have the opportunity to go ahead and sign up and start making money without anyone stopping you or any barrier to entry. And for whatever reason it is that you may be seen online or perhaps you've been telling yourself as to why you shouldn't start Redbubble, what if one day they just decide to adopt the acceptance program, which then completely shuts you out? Then I guess you will never know whether you could have actually had any success on the site or whether you could have actually begun making money online with Redbubble. But now I'm going to talk about the factors of Redbubble itself and whether this could be a right fit for you. Well, firstly, if you didn't already know, Redbubble is typically known for its graphic designs being on a whole variety of different products. Therefore, you will need to have a basic understanding of graphic design or at least spend some time learning how to create designs in order to actually upload some fairly good quality work to the site. And to be honest, there's probably never been an easier time to actually get started in creating designs and understanding graphic designs with websites like Canva, which is a free online editing website. So I really don't see how the design process can be seen as an issue or as a reason to actually stop you from trying. Another way to look at it, you could even view it as a stepping stone into the world of graphic design where you can go ahead and develop your skills and build on your portfolio to then go on to bigger opportunities where you can go ahead and build your own print on demand business or sign up to bigger royalty programs. And not to mention, Redbubble doesn't need to be the only place that you go to to upload your designs. There are plenty of other websites that you can do the same thing with, like Society6, so this will then give you more exposure to your designs and potentially earn you more money. So if you take a step back and actually view it from the perspective of Redbubble just being a stepping stone into a larger pool of opportunities, then you may consider the time being worthwhile in developing your graphic design skills and your online skills to then obviously lead you onto more exciting projects beyond Redbubble itself. Because as it stands, what other online business or side hustle do you know that can literally be started within 10 to 20 minutes? Because I personally can't think of many, and for that point alone, I think it's good for easy access and convenience in getting started. And of course, it's not all positive, so I'm not just going to sit here and pretend like Redbubble is the best business online, because that's just simply not the truth. There's so many different ways of making money online today, so it really does come down to your own personal circumstances as to the skills you have, the patience you have, the tolerance to risk you have, and of course, what it is that you actually want to achieve out of this online business or side hustle that you're trying. So with that, if you are someone who is looking to make, say, hundreds or thousands of dollars within a few days, Redbubble is not for you. Making money on Redbubble will be painfully slow, and it's very likely that you'll only make a few sales here and there in the beginning. But once you establish yourself and you allow your designs to gradually make their way onto the search results through improving your SEO and just generally having patience, then you will gradually begin to see reasonable results from the site. And just from my personal experience, I actually have a store on Redbubble that hasn't been shown on the channel or used in any of the video challenges that I've done. This store now actually generates me around $200 a month without me ever having to touch it or even log in. And I basically uploaded around 50 designs that I had sat on a hard drive 
that were within the sneaker niche in November of last year. And I started making a few sales here and there. But then as of September this year, the sales literally just took off as compared to previous months. And I still to this day haven't added any more designs to that store. So at this point, all the money that is coming in is just essentially a bonus. And I mean, it pretty much just feels like passive income at this point. But again, this took nearly a year before this store started to make any real noticeable amount of money. So with Redbubble, you will need to have patience and definitely a long-term mindset. Now to conclude the big question as to whether Redbubble is worth it or not. So if you're someone who's looking to potentially make an extra 100 to $300 a month, I definitely think it's more than achievable if you're willing to put the time and effort into it. But if you're someone who's looking to make far more than that with the limited time that you may already have, then Redbubble probably isn't the right fit for you. Because although I have seen stories of people making good money on Redbubble, well within the four to five figures a month, this would require far more than just a few hours here and there and would require a lot of hustle and grind. And even then there's no guarantee of this, just like any other online business. So to sum it up, I think Redbubble is worth it, but only if you go into it with the right mindset as to what you should expect getting out of it. Otherwise, you may be rather disappointed if you have hopes and dreams of making tens of thousands of dollars from it. But if you are someone that could do with an extra few hundred dollars a month to maybe help pay with bills or just generally extra spending money, then Redbubble could be a good choice for you. And for those of you who are already on Redbubble and already have a store and you're currently watching this to see if it's worth continuing and trying any further, I'm assuming it's probably because you haven't actually had any results or you haven't made as many sales as you would like, hence why you're watching this video. So for those of you who are watching for that reason, all I can recommend is that you keep pushing on and you have patience in the process and maybe actually take a stand back and view it from the perspective of how can I actually improve things and improve my chances of making more sales. And whether that be your SEO or maybe titles and tags, which I mean, I suppose that comes on SEO, but another thing could actually be product positioning. So how your graphic design is actually positioned and scaled on the products of Redbubble. And then of course, lastly will be the quality of the graphic designs that you're actually uploading to Redbubble. So instead of giving up because something isn't working, maybe just change your view once in a while and you might realize that it isn't Redbubble or any of these other sites that are stopping you from making all the sales you want. Because I mean, there's thousands of other people on this site that are making money monthly. So that isn't really a valid excuse to blame the website itself. Also bear in mind, this will be like any other online business or venture, which means you will be faced with difficult moments where things probably don't look like they're worthwhile or working out. And it's those who carry on and keep improving despite the doubts that will find success in the long run. You just need to stay in the game long enough. But anyway, that's now going to wrap up this video. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, then please make sure to drop this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. And bye for now. Peace.